This week on day one of the football media days in Vegas, Commissioner Yomar gave an update regarding private equity and the Big 12. Here is the question from a colleague. You mentioned private equity as part of your opening statement. I'm curious, one, what does the model look like in college sports that makes sense? And two, how does the Big 12 kind of work with private equity in a way that doesn't create major long-term liabilities, especially? The commissioner's answer. I'm not going to get into too much of a conversation on private equity, but as I said earlier, we're exploring all options. I do believe that given where we are, the industry, having a capital resource as a partner makes a ton of sense. That's really how you conduct good business. I really believe that. He continues. And if you see where private equity is kind of making a path into professional sports, at some point in time, it's going to come here into intercollegiate athletics. We are exploring what that might look like and a structure and a model of what that looks like is going to be critically important so that we're not compromising the long-term future of the conference. And we have surrounded ourselves with subject matter experts as we vet out the possibilities and whatever we do is going to have to benefit the conference both short-term and long-term. Provide optionality for our schools. And we're not there yet, but we are exploring the different options and the different structures that best suit our conference and our schools. Hmm. Commissioner Brett Yormark said that while he was on stage Tuesday, July 9th, during his opening comments to the media at the Big 12's Football Media Day.